Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to make this heart granny square. I want to make it clear that this is completely not my pattern. I was going to be making a candy hearts cardigan for Valentine's Day, and I was really picky about which pattern I was going to use. I fell in love with this specific pattern, but unfortunately it was in French and didn't have a written pattern, plus there were jump cuts, so personally it was hard to follow. After about three hours of trying, I figured it out to the best of my ability and got this. I'll be typing the pattern in the description below if that's more your style. For this, I'm going to be using Red Heart Soft Essentials Misty Rose and White. For my cardigan, I'm going to be using a bunch of these and using different colors, so I'll show you which ones I use for that. This is the yellow that I'm using. This is my green, except it looks more blue on camera. This is my blue. And this is my purple. So again, this is not my pattern. This is this person's pattern. I'm just showing how to do it in English. To give you a better understanding, this is kind of the anatomy of this square. So basically, right here we have 11 double crochets and one two chains. Then you build off of that and put seven triple crochets here, a double crochet, two double crochets, two double crochets, two double crochets here, you do something funky right there, two double crochets, two double crochets, two double crochets, then one double crochet, and in here is seven triple crochets, and that's for the heart. And for the white, you're just making different heights of stitches around here to make it into a square, and then you just make it solid granny square. So now to start off, we're going to use our pink color or whatever color you want for your heart, and we're going to make a magic ring or magic circle. This is when you put the yarn over two fingers like an X, and then you're going to go under this and then pull from there. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube explaining how to do that. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to count that of one of 12. So that's one. Now we're double crochet. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I always like to go back and check to make sure that there's 12, because if there's not, then that's going to screw up your whole thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're good, because we're counting this as a double crochet. And there's 12 double crochets. And then you're going to pull this tight. And then you're going to slip stitch into there. So pull it out, and then go like that. And now we're going to triple crochet, and this is going to seem weird because we haven't chained yet, but we're going to go over twice, one, two. We're going to skip this one and go into this one. One, two, three. So that's our first triple crochet, and we're going to make seven. So that's one. Two, three, four, and we're all going back into this same stitch. Five, six, and our last one, number seven. And go back and count, just to be sure. Okay, so we're gonna get see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's not in that same stitch. Now from our seven double crochets into this stitch, we're going to go into this next stitch and do one double crochet. So we're only yarning over once. So that's one. 
and then two into this next stitch. So one and two. So you can see that we just did our seven, one in there, and two in here. Now we're going to do two in the next one again. So one and two. And again, we're going to be doing two into here, except this is going to be a little bit different because it is right there. So we're going to do one, two, and at this point in the tutorial, I was very confused because obviously she wasn't speaking English, so I don't know really why she does this, but it turns out fine. So we're going to chain from here. So after these two into this bottom stitch, we're going to chain one, make sure that's loose, and then you're going to go into this and into there. And now we're going to slip stitch. So we come out and no yarning over. We just pull through. And then we're going to do two double crochet to make it even. So one and two. So we just completed this part into this stitch. So now we're basically repeating the same uh, thing on the other side. So we're doing two into here, one, two, again, two into here, one, two, and then just one into this one. So that's one. And now we're going to do seven triple crochet into this stitch. So we're yarning over twice, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we're gonna check again to make sure that we have all the right numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's not in the same thing. So now we are going to see, we're gonna go from here, from B7, and we're going to slip stitch into this next one. So from there to here, not into there, into here. So we're gonna do that, no, yarning over and we're just going to pull through. Now we're going to chain one because that's the end. So now we're going to want to take off about that much. And this is your heart before you tie your ends in. Now some people like to uh, fix up this circle at the very beginning after they did their 12 double crochets. I, however, prefer to do it once I'm done with the whole thing, just so that I'm not dealing with a whole bunch of string. So we can see that that comes out of there because it's wrapped around, and we're actually just going to pull it tight. Don't pull it so tight that this rips off. I don't think many people can do that, but just, just be wary. So you can see that this comes from here, so we're going to want to tuck it back into here. So I have a plastic needle and I'm just going to put it into these loops and have it come out about there or however much you can get it in. Then you're going to want to thread this, which can be kind of frustrating, uh, but I got it this time. So then you're going to pull through, pull tight again, do it again. A little squeaky sound sometimes and then just come out here whatever works pull it tight again it came off the needle that's okay that happens when the string gets a little bit short so then 
instead of just pushing it in right here, sometimes if I can twist it around a bit and then fold it, then it helps me get it into there a little bit more. It's a little messy, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's on the inside. Now, however much you uh, tie in is whatever you want to do, but I just do it around a few times just to make sure it's secure and it's not going to unravel. So now we can cut it off and you're going to want to pull it a little bit and then cut pretty close. Just don't cut any of those stitches and then pull it just a little bit. Then that goes back in. So the back of the magic circle has a string usually coming out of the back and then we just tied that in and so now on the front side we're going to figure out what to do with this. Tying in ends is something that I haven't seen a lot of explanation on and so I'm not a professional at it but basically the idea is just to put it in enough so that this doesn't come undone. So this part takes quite a while. It's not very fun, but it's important. So I am just going to go into here. And you basically just want to tie it into some loops, just wherever it can go. It doesn't matter that much. It's just important to have a little bit tucked in there so it doesn't come unraveled. See, that happens sometimes. Pretty annoying. Okay, I got it back on there. Um, we're going to pull this through um, wherever we put it in. Just be careful not to pull too tight because we don't want to distort the shape of it. So I pulled just enough and then we're just gonna continue finding somewhere to tuck it in. This part's really annoying. If you can get it into here, that's pretty good. It's tucked in quite a bit, won't fall out. So. All right. Let's get it again, wanna be careful. Okay. That's good enough for me. <laughs> I don't really wanna do any more. So now we're gonna pull just a little bit and cut. And the reason I do that is so that it, when I go like this, it kind of goes back inside and tucks itself in. So we just finished our heart part and now it's time to move on to right here. So we're going to grab our white yarn, whatever you want for the outside. And if you see here, there's gonna be this stitch and you're gonna wanna go into there. Now you're going to grab about this much of yarn, I would say, put it on there, pull it together, pull it through. Now we're actually going to make a chain with both of these. So we made a chain. Now we're gonna push this aside and make one more chain like that. So now we're going to hold this against here as we do the stitches on top of it, just to tuck it in. So first we're going to make a double crochet into this first stitch. Now a half double crochet into the next one. And then a single. And then another single. And into the same stitch, we're going to do a half double. Now we're going to be starting this corner. So what we're going to want to do is we just finished our half double crochet. Now we're going to want to chain two. And then we are going to be doing a double crochet into the next stitch. So that's about what it looks like. We've got our first corner. So that's where that is. All right. So after our first corner and our double crochet, we're going to be doing stitches of increasing heights along here to turn it into a square. So first we're going to do a single crochet, another single crochet, 
half double, half double, double, and double. Now we're going to be doing a triple crochet into this stitch, the next stitch. Chain two, and then a triple crochet back into this same, the same stitch. So that is our second corner. So that is right there. Now we're going to be doing a double crochet into the next stitch. And a single crochet into here. Now I told you that there was something funky going on here, and there is. So between right here and right here, we need to do two slip stitches. So it's kind of hard to figure out. I like to use this needle just to find kind of two spots to put my hook into. So I'm going to count that as my first. A bit hard. Okay, <laughs> we got it in. It's okay. So now our slip stitch. I'm checking my pattern, <laughs> and then a slip stitch, not into this one, into this weird part here. There's our slip stitch. Now we can do a single crochet into here. And then a double crochet, or a triple crochet, then chain two, and then triple crochet into the same stitch. And then a double crochet. Another double crochet. Half double. Half double. Single. Single. So this is where it gets kind of confusing because it happens not to be symmetrical. I know, I thought that it would be and you do the same exact thing for both sides, but it is not. So after we did our two double crochet and our two single crochet, we're going to do another single crochet into the next stitch. So there's my single crochet. Then we're going to chain two. One, two. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. So there's our half double crochet and another single crochet, half double, half double, and then into the next stitch, which is right there, we're going to be doing a double crochet. So there's our double crochet, and now we want to join these parts. So we're going to pull this aside, and you can see where there's this stitch, and then there's there. We're going to want to go in between here and there. So we're going to want to go into there, and we're going to slip stitch, and then chain one. Oh, we are not cutting off anything. <laughs> thought we were for a second. So after we chained one, sorry. We're going to chain another, and we're going to start our second round. Alright, so we just finished the first round of our granny square, so that would be around here. 
And now we're going to continue doing a solid granny square around here. So now we are just going to be doing a bunch of double crochets. So we're going to be doing a double crochet, not into this one, into that one. Another. Another. Again. And we're going to make sure to go right into there. Okay. Now we're going to do two double crochets into here. One, two, now we're going to chain two again. One, two, and then two double crochets back into here. One, and two. So that is this part. So now we're going to pull this back a little bit and see this first stitch that we're going to want to double crochet into. And then I'm going to go all around. And we're only putting one into each stitch except for these chain two spaces. Again, we're going to go into there. So, we're going into there. Now we're going to put two into here. One. Two. Chain two. And then two right back into there. One, oh, two, sorry, gotta get some more yarn off the ball. Okay, so now we're going to put one into here. One into here. Next one. And then we're going to go into these slip stitches. They might be a little bit tight, but just try to get your way in there. And again. To this next spot. To here, and then right into there. Which is not the chain two space because we're actually going in between the string. Now we're going into the chain two space, the big hole that's in there. So we're do one and two, and then chain two, one, two, and then do two more. One, two, and then into here. Next stitch. Okay. 
We're just gonna keep going along this side. Except there is gonna be something weird right here. Okay, so again, we're gonna go into here. And then we're going to do two double crochet into here. One, two, and then chain two. And then we're going to do two into here. So one, sorry, I'm trying to get more yarn. And two. And what we might want to do is put one into there. Except we're not going to do that for this second round. We're not peeling this back and going into there. We're going to go into this one. Let's do next. And it's good. And then we're going to stop right in that one. So this is the last one we're going to do. So if we flatten it out here, there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to count this as eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There should be 14 double crochets because we're going to count this as one on this top side. And then there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen on this side. But it's all going to work out. So now we're going to peel this back and go into there to do a slip stitch. And then we're going to start our third round. Okay, so we just finished this part and we have one more round to go. And again, there is going to be 14 here and 13 on the side. That is okay, you are doing it right, or at least how I'm doing it, which is getting good squares. So that's okay. So now after we just slip stitched, we're going to, uh, we're going to chain two and then double crochet into this next one not into here, into this one. And then again, we're just going to keep going around. Let's try to do it a little bit more flat so you can see it. And it's not just like this. And Yes, we're going to go into that one. Same. And then two into here. So there's two. And then chain two. Then we're going to do two more into here. One, two, and then we are going to go into there. Hold on, let me zoom in a little bit just so it's easier to see. We're going to keep going into all these ones on the side. It's pretty easy. I would leave this out of the tutorial, but I know sometimes it can be very scary when the person doing the tutorial leaves you on your own and you have to figure it out <laughs> yourself. So I'll just stick with you. To see what the camera is seeing because I'm afraid that I'm not in the camera. Okay, to here. 
a little bit tricky. And then two into here. One, two, chain two. One, two. Okay, so then we just did the two, chain two, and the two. So that is there. And now we need to go into here. And continue along the bottom side. We're rounding the corner here. I'm going to put one in there. Ah, tough. <laughs> okay, so we got into there. Okay, and then two into this chain two space. One. Two. Chain two, <laughs> one, two, and then of course, two double crochets into this chain two space. And again, one to there. So right there. We're gonna continue along this side, but we are gonna do something different right here. Whoa. Yeah, it's going all over the place. This one here. And then we are going into this space for this side. And then two double crochets. One, two, chain two. And then two double crochets. However, this time we are in fact going into this right here because right here we did not. So we're going about right there. Okay, so we are going into here on this top right corner, but only on this round. And then one into here. But of course, we're not going to go into that one. So now, if we're going to count the sides, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so 18 along here if we're counting this chain two as one of them. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So now we're good. Now we're all even. It's all figured out. So now we're going to put this together. So I'm gonna go into there, slip stitch into here. Okay, chain only one, unless if you want to keep going. And then we're going to cut off at about there. Okay, so now you'd want to tie in your end. I'm just going to go into here. And flip to the back side so it's just tucked in a little bit more. Gonna go around just randomly. But if you can get to, hold on, I'm finding it. <laughs> if you can get to where all of these stitches are, you can just tuck them in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just cause I'm lazy. <laughs> And then, of course, we're going to pull it through carefully. I like to put my finger in here while I'm pulling it through. Because, see, I've got all tight on my finger. I'm going to continue pulling it through. Why I do that is because we don't want this stitch to get pulled super far into there. And then it's like that. So, now that there's some right there, we're just going to pull lightly. Okay. And then you can pull it out a little bit, and that's pretty good. Pull that a little bit, cut it, and there we have our finished square. So, of course, it's not going to be a perfect square, but if you want to make sure that it's completely to your liking, what you can do is you can dunk it in some water if your yarn is able to do that wool yarn i'm pretty sure you should not do that with because <laughs> it'll all get in a mess but with this yarn you can just dunk it in some water squish it get all the water out and you can lay it flat and you can pin it to a towel uh, and you can just make it perfect and however you'd like but do beware that when you do that it does stretch out a little bit because the stitches are relaxed if you want to look more into that it is called blocking and there are videos on YouTube showing you how to do it. Um, I usually do it to my things after I'm finished completely creating them, so I wouldn't block this, but I'm going to block my entire sweater. You can do this with any yarn that you'd like, but I just really like the Red Heart Soft Essentials because I love working with Weight 5 yarn, and it is truly soft. These are the squares that I've made, and once I'm done with 17 of them, I'm going to make them into a Candy Hearts cardigan, which I will be posting on my Instagram, jamiechaskell.yarn. Again, I want to say that this is not my pattern. It is this person's pattern, just in English and with maybe a little bit more explanation. It was really frustrating to fall in love with this pattern and have a really hard time following it, so I hope this can help you out if you're in that same situation. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial of this pattern. I hope it was easy and that this video was helpful. Bye!